Welcome back. Uh, well, more statements uh, coming in from the finance minister, uh, strict vigil on the economy uh, and growth low versus budget aim uh, because of uh, weak industry and because of inflation. All right, uh, nothing very significant happening, perhaps a little bit of more of the same. Let's shift focus to a personal finance uh, segment. Uh, plenty of questions and viewers waiting by with questions. Our expert today is Hemant Rastigi of Wise Investor uh, Advisors. And joining us first is uh, Jitendra Patel from Disa in Gujarat. Jitendra ji, go ahead. Aapka question kya hai? मेरे का ये क्वेश्चन था कि 5000 पर मंथ में रुकना चाहता हूँ इन्वेस्ट करना चाहता हूँ जी अभी 2000 तो इन्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ इसके अलावा 3000 और करना चाहता हूँ हाँ तो पोर्टफोलियो में कौन सा मिस्टर बनने में लग सकता है ऑल राइट हेमंत गो अहेड इफ यू कूड आंसर इन हिंदी प्लीज जितेंद्र आप ये जो पैसा इ और आपका गोल क्या आप क्या क्या अचीव करना चाहते हैं इस इन्वेस्टमेंट में बीस साल के बाद यानी कि जब मैं 58 साल का हो जाऊंगा तब मैं मेरे पास एक करोड़ हो ऐसा मैं चाहता हूं मेरी मेजरिटी ठीक है जितेंद्र देखिए आप क्योंकि 20 साल के लिए इन्वेस्ट करना चाहते हैं ये ये काफी लंबा समय है बिल्कुल सही अप्रोच है इसी तरीके से इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए जब आप स्पेशली जब एक बड़ा कॉर्पस बनाना चाहते हैं क्योंकि आप रिटायरमेंट के लिए कॉर्पस बना रहे हैं ध्यान रखिए ऐसे में आपके लिए इक्विटी जो है एज एन एसेट क्लास वो सबसे सही ऑप्शन है क्योंकि यहां पे ना ही आपको सिर्फ अच्छा रिटर्न मिलेगा बल्कि जो रिटर्न मिलता है वो टैक्स एफिशियंट है मतलब एक साल के बाद जो भी रिटर्न आपको मिलेगा वो आपको टैक्स फ्री मिलेगा तो और जो आप शायद ऑलरेडी कर भी रहे आप दो फंड में आप इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं वो बिल्कुल सही अप्रोच है आई थिंक उसको ही आपको आगे आगे लेके जाना है और इक्विटी में इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए जैसा मैंने कहा एसआईपी के द्वारा आप म्यूचुअल फंड में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए बिल्कुल सही अप्रोच है आपके पास ऑलरेडी दो फंड हैं आप इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं बिरला फ्रंटलाइन इक्विटी में और आईसीआईसी डिस्कवरी में क्योंकि आप तीन हजार रूपये और इन्वेस्ट करना चाहते हैं तो एक हजार रूपये आप एड कर दीजिए आईसीआईसी डिस्कवरी में और एक नया फंड मैं आपको बोल रहा हूं एचडीएफसी टॉप टू जो प्राइमरीली जो है बड़ी कंपनी है उनमें इन्वेस्ट करता है और पंद्रह जो है वो करीब जो जो मिड साइज कंपनी उनमें इन्वेस्ट करते हैं तो ये ये दो फंड में आप पैसा लगाइए और अगर हम यहाँ पे मान के चलें कि 12 परसेंट का अगर आपको रिटर्न मिलता है तो करीब 20 साल के बाद मुझे लगता है करीब आप अगर 5000 इन्वेस्ट करते हैं तो 45 टू 50 लाख का आपका कॉर्पस बनेगा अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आपको एक करोड़ का कॉर्पस मिले तो आपको दस हजार रूपये इन्वेस्ट करने पड़ेंगे तो आप देख लीजिए अगर आप अभी पॉसिबल नहीं है तो जैसा आपने कहा फाइव से आप शुरूआत कीजिए 2000 हजार आप ऑलरेडी इन्वेस्ट करें तीन और करना चाहते हैं और जब भी पॉसिबल हो आगे एक या दो साल में कोशिश कीजिए कि धीरे धीरे इस अमाउंट को बढ़ाएं ताकि आप जो आपका लक्ष्य है उसके नजदीक तक पहुंच सके ठीक है जितेंद्र ये आपके लिए सलाह है हजार रूपये आईसीआईसी अप्रूव में और दो हजार एक नए फंड एच डी एफ सी टॉप टू हंड्रेड में हेमंत डू स्टे ऑन वी हैव मोर कॉलर्स लाइन अप फॉर यू ऑन द अदर साइड व्यूअर्स स्टे ट्यून अलॉट वन पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम चिदम्बरम एंडेवर टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट स्पेंडिंग ऑन सब्सिडीज One hopes that is taken very seriously. Of all the statements made so far, uh, that one seems uh, pretty positive. But it starts with the word endeavour. Yes, I agree with you. Let's take a break. We'll come back with personal finance questions and answers. Welcome back. 5,442 on the Nifty. So that's the key statement. Finance Minister has said that there is no plan as of now to up fuel or fertilizer prices. Just as we went into a break, the statement which came out from the, from the Finance Minister is that there is an endeavor to restrict the spend on subsidy. But he's followed it up with a statement which says that he's not going to up the fuel or fertilizer prices, which means the subsidy as of burden. Now. As of now, which means the subsidy burden will stay very high. The I market is very has dangerous. Reacting. You know, a lot of expectation is built into the post September seventh period that September would be perhaps the month when they could raise prices. Because if you miss that then there are after you have uh, state uh, elections coming in and then the budget session, so it would leave much less elbow room. Uh, so much is pinned on the post-September 7th period that the statement is not uh, helping at all. Markets anyway are unperturbed at this point. They are reacting to the global markets and 
<clears throat> you know, Asia gave us a leg up, but Europe is likely to support it. So European futures are currently up about 0.8%. So that's the reason why the Nifty is actually at the high point of the day and just eight points away from that 5480 mark. Looks like Europe will have a good start and a rebound from yesterday's losses. <clears throat> but other than that, things are quiet on the equity market. So let's go across to Devas Sahayam, who calls us from Chennai with his question. Hi, Devas Sahayam. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good, good, good. Can you tell us your question? Yeah, like uh, if you have my portfolio, like mm. uh, I just started investing uh, for the past one year. Okay. Uh, I made some good uh, money <laughs> like that. So I have another 7,000 with me to mm. be invested uh, into SIP for the next five years mm. with a target of 35 lakhs to accumulate okay. for my higher studies. So could you advise me on that? So in the past one year, did you invest it in mutual funds via SIPs? Yes, yes. Or you were putting uh, in individual stocks? No, uh, like I have uh, four stocks which I have invested. Oh. All are in losses. Okay. Uh, I have done few MS, you can see, uh, some IDBI, one access mid-cap, and uh, the other is IDF infrastructure fund, which I have closed now. Mm. I'm not investing in it. Okay. okay. And, uh, um, Reliance uh, Gold Exchange Traded Fund. Ha, uh, that yes. is just started last uh, four months. I just invested three, like three SIPs have gone for that. Correct. Fair enough. Uh, hmm. Devas, I am uh, just uh, at the outset, it's a little ambitious. You're putting 7,000 per month. That would be 84,000 uh, per year. Uh, in five years, uh, your capital is like less than 5 lakhs. 35 lakhs is a tall ask. In any case, uh, maybe the expert is here to tell you what best you can do with that money. Go ahead, Hemant. Well, indeed, it's going to be very difficult to achieve a target of 35 lakhs with, with this kind of investment. But, you know, the, the key factor here is the time horizon of five years and the fact that money has to be invested every month, which means the average holding period is going to be just two and a half years. So this is not a period where one can be very aggressive. He's already investing in two funds. He said one of the funds, the thematic fund, which are infrastructure, is top SAP. But there is already another equity fund in the, in the portfolio. So in, in my view, because the money... The purpose is to create a corpus for his higher edu education and the time horizon is not long enough. I think he should focus on hybrid funds primarily. He can look at a mix of equity-oriented hybrid fund and a debt-oriented hybrid fund. Uh, maybe he can invest around 3,000 in equity-oriented hybrid fund and 4,000 in debt-oriented hybrid fund. And, and as for the funds are concerned, he can look at HGFC balance fund. And on the debt-oriented hybrid fund, he can look at MIP as a category where he can consider investing in uh, Reliance MIP. If I assume an analyzed return of around 11%, uh, I think he'll get to somewhere around 5.5 or 5.6. Uh, one suggestion for him is because he's talking about his higher education, maybe he can consider uh, taking a loan for higher education. Mm -hmm. I think that will be uh, better for him. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as existing investments are concerned, I think I, I, my suggestion to him would be that he should not focus too much on very aggressive fund. He has only one fund and he is that also is if he's investing in mid-cap. Mm. Uh, rather that he should look at a diversified fund which has a bias toward large cap mm. stock. Maybe he can look at ICICI Focus Blue Chip or SDFC Top 200. In the MIP category, he has another fund. Uh, since I've recommended uh, Reliance MIP and if he's, you know, going to invest in that, that he should retain only one MIP. There's no mm. need of having two MIPs in the portfolio. And on, on the short-term debt fund side, I think a better option would be uh, a Bidla Sun Life a Dynamic Bond Fund. So this is the way he can structure his portfolio. And as I said, it's, it's going to be impossible to actually get to his target. Maybe mm. he can consider taking a loan uh, for mm. higher education. Fair enough. Uh, Deva Sahem, that's the answer in terms of the number of funds. And to scale down your target in five years, uh, that's what your uh, savings can uh, uh, get you. Thanks a lot for joining us, Hemant. We, uh, to you viewers, uh, a request if you have any personal finance questions, do write to us. Send us an SMS typing YM followed by a space and your question and send it to 51818. Alternatively, you can also email your questions to yourmoney at network18online.com. Well, Europe markets, European markets have opened and understandably expectedly.